The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little bit of extra. You want to be a next level resider, but you won't do the things to live in the next level zone. Success is not given, it's earned. Repetition increases the chances of your success. The more times you show up, the more likely you will be heard. You need to show up. That's all there is to it. Show up and repeat. It takes repetition to grow. You have to tear the muscle in order to grow. Repetition is key. The moment is now. See, in the real world, nothing comes easy. You have to put in the effort. You have to put in the blood, the sweat, the tears. If it doesn't hurt a little bit, if it doesn't sting a little bit, if it doesn't make you a little uncomfortable, you probably won't get very much out of it. You gotta set the example. This, this is another obstacle. This obstacle cannot define me. It's not gonna cripple me. It's not gonna be responsible for me stepping away for the game that I love. You have to do the process. The process is non-negotiable. It's just, you have to do it. All right, so if you have to do something, I don't have highs about it or lows about it. I know it has to get done. And if I let my emotions get involved in it, all right, it's not gonna get done to its best abilities. So if people say you gotta love the process and then something comes in the process that you don't really love, well, you have to do it. You have to do it. You take the emotions out of it and you do it. The process is a non-negotiable thing. Things that are difficult, when you do these difficult things, you're stressing your mind, or I should say, don't stressing your mind, exercising your mind, and exercising your body's ability to manage intense situations. It's hard, it's very difficult, it's very testing. And in doing so, you, you lessen the stress of regular life. The more stressful situations that I experience, the more I understand what they are, and the more I can relax. Don't be sorry, just do better. Stop showing up for work late all the time. Stop being late for your success. Stop apologizing for the same mistakes over and over again. When you know you've done wrong, wake up and do right. You need to rise up and understand what success is all about. We got to rise up. We got to start. We got to finish. You should work so hard that you collapse in the bed at night. And then you fall asleep, wake up and rise up again. But the only way your story is ever told, the only way your story is ever heard, is if you overcome whatever it is that you're going through. We build circuits within us for habitual action that we practice many times that seem to run in a very deterministic fashion. And we are a strange combination of deterministic and non-deterministic as far as I can tell. But what our consciousness seems to be for is to encounter those things that we have not yet encountered. And those things that we have not yet encountered seem to me to be those things that have not yet been brought into being. And so you could say that what our consciousness is for is for the encounter with potential. You know, that our consciousness is for the, it's not for the past, it's not even for the present. It's to transform the future into the present. And, and really that that's what our consciousness does. When you wake up in the morning, you have a new day ahead of you and the day could take you in very many directions. And, and the weeks and the years, all of that can take you in very many directions. And you have some apprehension about what those directions might be. You have some apprehension about what role your choices might make in transforming that potential into one form of actuality or another. I mean, you certainly know that there are dreadful mistakes that you might be very tempted to make that would produce all manner of hell around you and still be tempted to do it. It seems like it's sitting there right in front of you as a possibility. You also know that, you know, you could haul yourself up out of bed and attend to your duties and do the sorts of things that you're supposed to and set a few things right that day and that week and that likely things would at least not be worse and they would probably be better. It's necessary as you look at your goals and your dreams, it's necessary that you have a, a strategy and a game plan to change the story that you believe about yourself. 
And that's an ongoing process. I've discovered, and many people have, that what we do, what we accomplish, what we produce is a result of the story we believe about ourselves. My favorite book says, Be ye not conformed to this world, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so as I began to work on myself, I realized that I'm getting out of one story and stepping into another story. As I become aware of some things, there's still some things I'm not aware of. So I still, I'm still growing, I'm still developing. I'm like the lady who said, Lord, I ain't what I wanna be, ain't what I'm gonna be, but thank God I showed what I was. But I realized that, that you have to work on yourself on a regular basis, and write this down, for mental mindset. For mental mindset and stamina. Because things are going to happen to you. I don't believe, I believe that the reason that most people go to their graves with their talents and abilities and skills in them is because of the fact, number one, many are like me. They didn't know that they didn't know and, and thought they knew. I thought I knew myself and I really didn't know myself as well as I thought. I've discovered that sometimes people can take you to a place within yourself that you can't go by yourself. You've got to learn to reflect with yourself. There's something to be said for solitude. There's something to be said for taking those occasions to shut out the world and shut out everything else for a while, for a while. Now here's why it's important to reflect, to make the past more valuable to serve you for the future. Here's what's really powerful, learning to gather up the past and invest it in the future. Gather up today and invest it in tomorrow. Gather up this week and invest it in the next week. Gather up this year and invest it in the next year. See, that's so powerful. Rather than just hanging on one more year, hanging in there, seeing what's gonna happen. Learn, study. This is part of the personal development quest. Becoming better than you are, more valuable than you are. Not just in terms of economics, in terms of motherhood, in terms of fatherhood, in terms of being a better brother, a better colleague, making a better contribution to the family, to society, to the community, to the church, to the office, to the commitment, to the partnership. Doesn't matter what it is that has value. Work on yourself, then you bring more value to the partnership, to the marriage, to the franchise, to the corporation, to the enterprise, to the community, to the nation. Self-development, personal development. The best contribution you can make to someone else is self-development. Not self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice only earns contempt. Self-development earns respect. Happiness is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. When you have clear, exciting goals and ideals, you will feel happier about yourself and your world. You will be more positive and optimistic. You will be more cheerful and enthusiastic. You will feel internally motivated to get up and get going every morning, because every step you are taking will be moving you in the direction of something that is important to you. Resolve to think about your ideal future most of the time. Remember, the very best days of your life lie ahead. The happiest moments you will ever experience are still to come. The highest income you will ever experience, come, you will ever earn, is going to materialize in the months and years ahead. The future is going to be better than anything that may have happened in your past. There are no limits. The clearer you can be about your long-term future, the more rapidly you will attract people and circumstances into your life to help make that future a reality. The greater clarity you have about who you are and what you want, the more you will achieve and the faster you will achieve it in every area of your life. One of the most important characteristics of leaders and top people in every area of life is that they know who they are, what they believe in and what they stand for. Average people are usually confused about their goals, values and ideals and as a result they go back and forth and accomplish very little. Men and women who become leaders on the other hand with the same or even fewer abilities and opportunities go on to accomplish great things in whatever they attempt. Life is lived from the inside out. The very core of your personality is your values. Your values are what make you the person you are. Everything you do on the outside is dictated and determined by your values on the inside, whether clear or fuzzy. The greater clarity you have regarding your values on the inside, the more precise and effective will be your actions on the outside. How can you tell what your values really are? The answer is simple. You always demonstrate your true values in your actions, and especially your actions under pressure. Whenever you are forced to choose between one behavior and another, you will always act consistent with what is most important and valuable to you at that moment. 